Hello everyone, it's Professor Capco again, and we're going to talk about, in this video, negative exponents. Alright, so we're going to learn a little bit more about negative exponents. <clears throat> Let me give you the formula or the rule for dealing with negative exponents. If you've got a base, such as A, and if you're not sure what a base is or an exponent, you may want to take a look at some of my prior videos on this, and you've got a negative exponent, so A to the negative I'm going to use n to represent any possible um, exponent. I'm going to make it equal to a to the negative n exponent is equal to 1 over a to the n. So this is our rule we're going to use. So if you have a negative exponent, you take the base and you put it in the denominator and the exponent then becomes positive. So the exponent was negative here and it's positive here. So let's look at an example of this with real world numbers. So if I've got a number such as 3 to the negative 1 exponent and you see something like that, then we know that we take the base, which is 3, and we put it in the denominator, and in this case you put a 1 over the top because it's the inverse. We could put a positive 1 here as your exponent, but we really don't do that. Um, it's implied, it's there. If you put it there, that's alright, it's not wrong, but it's kind of like training wheels. You don't want to really show that like that. You'd rather have it without. So that's how it would work with that. It's the same thing if you're dealing with a variable. So if I had x to the negative fifth power, again, my base is x, my exponent is negative 5. So I apply this rule, it looks like this, so then I move it over to look like that. So it's equal to 1 over x, and now the 5, the exponent, becomes positive. 1 over x to the fifth power. Just as simple as that. Now, one important rule that you need to know about negative exponents is you need to get rid of them. You need to get rid of them anytime you have them. So you cannot write an answer that is proper with a negative exponent. So if you have an answer you come up with was 3 to the negative 1, you better quick change it to be 1 third. If you have 5 to the negative fifth, go ahead and switch it to 1 over x to the fifth power. Um, that way, it will be correct. All right, another rule is if I have a fraction such as a over b, and the entire fraction is to a negative exponent, which negative n could represent any exponent. So I've got a over b, and the entire thing, that's what the parentheses all are about, is to a negative n, then we take the reciprocal. becomes b over a. Still inside the parentheses, and my n becomes positive. So a over n, the whole thing, to the negative n becomes, you flip it over, b over a, the whole thing to a positive n. So that's another rule that you're going to apply with a negative exponent. To give you an example of that, if I had two-thirds, and let's say the whole thing is to the negative one, and you got this as an answer, don't leave it that way because that would be technically incorrect. You need to flip it over. And it's now to a positive one, which we wouldn't write can just write three halves. You may, your instructor may want you to reduce that three halves, and we've got, I'll do a video later on on how to reduce um, improper fractions such as that. Okay, so we've got two rules so far. Let me show you another rule. Let's say we already have a fraction 
1 over a to the negative n. So I already got a fraction. The a is already in the denominator, or as I like to say, the a is going to the basement. Well, if it's in the basement, then and it's a negative exponent, then it needs to come up. It needs to come up and be a over 1, and the a is still to the n power, but the n becomes positive. And a to the n power all over 1, the most simple way to write that would be a to the n, because anything over 1 is itself. So you want to keep that in mind as another rule to have handy. If I were to do that in uh, practice, if I had something like, uh, let's say I had um, 1 or 5 to the negative third power, I recognize that there's a negative exponent. I know that I cannot leave it that way. It cannot stay that way. It needs to come up. So the 5 comes up from the basement. I could put it over 1. And the 3 becomes positive. So I now have 5 cubed. Well, 5 cubed is the same thing as 5 times 5 times 5. That's what it means. The exponent tells you how many times to multiply the base by itself. And 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. how you'd work with that. Now, I mentioned you can't have a negative exponent in your answer, but you can have a negative coefficient. So let's say I've got one that looks like this, negative x to the negative 2 power. And I've done my algebra and I came up with something like that. Well, I know that I can't leave it that way because I've got a negative exponent. I'm not worried about this negative in front of it because, as I said in an earlier video, that's actually a coefficient. That's like multiplying x by negative 1. It's not, it's not squared or anything like that because it's a coefficient. So I'm going to take my x and it's going to go to the basement. It's going to go down here over a 1. My 2 becomes a positive 2. My negative 2 becomes a positive 2. And we still have a negative here. So the whole thing is negative. So the answer is negative 1 over x squared because that negative stays with it. It's a coefficient in front of it. And that is a proper answer. You can have a negative coefficient. Not a problem. You just can't have a negative in your exponent. All right, I hope that will clear some things, some things up for you for uh, negative exponents. And um, so next time, um, Hopefully we can do some more of these. Uh, if you found this helpful, go ahead and click like. Uh, give me a thumbs up. And go ahead and put some comments in there. In the comment section, if you've got another question or how to do a problem, put it in the comments and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. And remember, Professor Capco says, keep your grade alive and subscribe. Until next time, this is Professor Capco.